The Holy Roman Empire Otto I became king of Germany in 936. He wanted to revive the old Roman Empire and was crowned as the first Holy Roman Empire by the Pope in 962. The Holy Roman Empire was neither particularly holy nor Roman. Founded by Charlemagne in 800, it was concerned with the powers of kings and was German. After Charlemagne's death, the Carolingian Empire gradually broke up and France and Germany were separated. In Germany, a high king was elected as overlord so that he could bind together the many interdependently ruling dukes, counts, and bishops. The first of these overlords was Conrad I of Franconia, elected in 911. Later, the ambitious Otto I wanted to revive the Roman Empire. Otto brought stability by uniting all of the rulers who owed him allegiance and by defeating the Magyars. Otto conquered Bohemia, Austria, and northern Italy. After 25 years, he had the Pope crown him Emperor Augustus, founding an imperial tradition that lasted 850 years until 1806. His empire became a revived Holy Roman Empire. Popes and Emperors Several popes wanted to help in ruling Christian Europe, but often came into conflict with the emperors. Catholics had to obey the pope, so he was powerful. Popes wanted to choose emperors, and emperors wanted to choose popes and control church affairs. Finally, Emperor Henry IV and Pope Gregory VII clashed in 1075. Gregory said Henry had no right to choose bishops. In revenge, Henry said that Gregory was no longer pope. Gregory excommunicated him, which meant that Henry was no longer recognized by the Christian church, and his subjects did not have to obey him. In 1077, Henry asked to be forgiven. The quarrel over choosing bishops was finally settled in 1122, but there were more disputes which led to a gradual separation of church and state.